welcome to we teach in this session we are going to discuss uh, nicol prism so in the last session we discussed about uh, double refraction double refraction is a process of converting unpolarized light to polarized light in the double refraction in the phenomenon of double refraction we use anisotropic crystals uh, like a calcite quartz when unpolarized light is incident on this anisotropic crystal the incident unpolarized light will split into two plane polarized lights we name them as ordinary ray that is o ray and extraordinary ray e ray both are plane polarized light now while we are using this uh, double refraction phenomena to produce polarized light in most of the commercial practical applications we need only one plane polarized light so we need to eliminate either e ray or o ray which was produced by double refraction phenomena so nicol prism is the device which is designed by nicol and this nicol prism will eliminate o ray by total internal reflection in nicol prism device we use double refraction phenomena to produce plane polarized light due to double refraction o ray and e ray are produced and this o ray is eliminated by total internal reflection why we eliminate o ray because in the last session we discussed that o ray obeys laws of refraction and the velocity and refractive index of the o ray in the crystal remains constant so it is easy to eliminate o ray when compared to e ray why because the e velocity of e ray in the crystal changes with the direction of the crystal so that's why nicol design a device called nicol prism in which o ray and e ray are produced by double refraction phenomena and e ray o ray is eliminated by total internal reflection so here nicol prism is a device which eliminates o ray by total internal reflection and transmits e ray and nicol prism is a device which is producing polarized light so it, it can be act as polarizer and this nicol prism also will analyze either the incoming light or incident light is unpolarized light or polarized light now the construction of nicol prism will be like this so nicol uh, constructed the nicol prism by taking calcite crystal by taking calcite crystal so in order to in order to remember this uh, construction we can understand this construction in a, in three steps step 1 nicol prism uh, nicol has taken the calcite crystal whose length is three times of the width and step 2 he grounded the end surface of the crystal and polished so this is the initial crystal he has taken in step 1 in step 2 the end faces are grounded like this and polished so the grounded the end faces are grounded such that the angles in the principal section become 68 degrees and 112 degrees instead of 71 degrees and 109 degrees so the end faces are grounded so that the angles in the principal section of the calcite crystal become 68 degrees and 112 degrees instead of 71 degrees and 109 degrees the purpose of the grounding is to increase the field of view that means the aim, main aim of the construction of this nicol prism is to eliminate o ray by total internal reflection so for total internal reflection the angle of incident should be greater than critical angle in order to get this condition nicol has grounded the end faces till the angles in the principal section reduces to 68 degrees and 112 degrees instead of 71 degrees and 109 degrees in step 3 the crystal is broken into two pieces perpendicular to the principal section the crystal is broken into two pieces so like this the crystal is broken into two pieces perpendicular to principal section that is step 3 in step 4 again the two pieces are joined using canada balsam using canada balsam 
the two pieces are joined the two pieces are joined together by using candida balsam this is candida balsam and this is calcite crystal the and this device is called nicol balsam and why we use candida balsam to join or to cement the two materials together two pieces together since the candida balsam seems to be like transparent material that is the first requirement and the second requirement the refractive index of the candida balsam which is equal to 1.55 lies between the refractive index of the ore and refractive index of the ea so in order to eliminate ore by total internal reflection the first condition to achieve total internal reflection is the angle of incident for the ore should be greater than critical angle that can be attained by the step 2 by the process of grounding and the second condition to achieve total internal reflection is ore has to travel from denser medium to rarer medium so that's why the candida balsam metal is chosen because the candida balsam material has the refractive index which act as rarer medium for ore whereas the calcite crystal act as denser medium and the candida balsam act as rarer medium since the ore will travel from calcite crystal to candida balsam so the second condition will be achieved and therefore ore will be eliminated by total internal reflection so in order to eliminate ore by total internal reflection the calcite crystal is taken and grounded and cemented together using candida balsam this is the construction of the nickel prism and finally there is a nickel prism here there is a nickel prism a a prime b c prime d is called nickel prism here and you can see this is nickel prism the shaded region which is like a diagonal it is called candida balsam we will see how this candida balsam works so how this nickel prism works here now see when unpolarized light is incident on the on the face ab now this uh, uh, dotted line represents the direction of unpolarized light incident on the nickel prism and this solid line represent normal to the surface of the face ab when unpolarized light when unpolarized light or ordinary light so ordinary light is a unpolarized light when unpolarized light is incident on the surface ab within the angle 14 degrees so the limit the limitation of the nickel prism is the unpolarized light should incident on the surface of the nickel prism within the angle 14 degrees okay so we know that when unpolarized light is incident on calcite crystal by the phenomenon of double refraction the ordinary light will split into ore and ea so in the calcite crystal the refractive index for the ore is 1.6 and the refractive index for the ea is 1.48 and it is traveling to the calcite crystal and ore and ea both will incident on candida balsam now we have grounded the surface of the nickel prism and we made the angle on the face within 14 degrees then ore will incident on the candida balsam at an angle of incident which is greater than critical angle so for the ore the angle of incident the angle of incident at the candida balsam surface is greater than critical angle so the first condition was achieved for total internal reflection and the ore is traveling in the calcite crystal in which the refractive index is 1.6 and incident on the surface of the candida balsam whose refractive index is 1.5 so therefore the ore is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium so when these two conditions are achieved the total internal reflection phenomena takes place and ore will be undergoes total internal reflection and travels throughout the surface or the face bc and at the face bc we have some observers light observers and therefore ore will be completely eliminated by total internal reflection for ea it is traveling through calcite crystal in which the refractive index is 1.48 and where the refractive index of the candida balsam is 1.55 so ea is traveling from the medium of rarer to denser so when the light moves from rarer medium to denser medium 
no chance of total internal reflection and e ray passes through the nikon prism and emerges out so finally only one plane polarized light is produced so nikon prism has been has eliminated the o ray by total internal reflection and allows the e ray to pass through it and finally we get only one plane polarized light and therefore this nikon prism is used, is used in many of the tel displays like lcds leds where the e ray passes through this nikon prism and we can see the lights display screens there thank you